Hey traders, John Howell here. We're going to be looking at just a bit of a market update across all the markets. We'll be looking at the stock market, the gold and silver, the mining sector. Also be looking at like the crypto markets, well too, Bitcoin, um, you know, and stuff like that, like such, such as oil as well too. So it's a bit of a market update to get ready for this week as well. And then after I've done the market update, I'm also going to be covering something really awesome with you that that I'm gonna share with you that you're actually not that far away from achieving some really good success in the markets. And I wanna share something with you that I believe is gonna help you with your trading. So let's go straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into it. If you haven't done so yet guys, um, I'm giving away free access to my complete trading course. Um, you know, my number one trading system I trade, I, I, I'm actually teaching it for free. Um, you know, the chart reading mastery, the mindset side of things, the biggest mistakes, link in the description, guys. So let's actually get into the um, the, the actual market update right now. So we're gonna be starting to look at the actual um, stock market. Now, the big thing about the S&P, uh, um, the stock market, looking at the S&P 500, we can see we're in a bit of a consolidation here right now. Okay, a consolidation. Now, um, a big thing here, traders, is that a lot of people say to me, why do I use the black bars? Um, sometimes I do use candlesticks like, like this here, and I do, I use that sometimes. I, I use that sometimes when I'm actually, especially when I'm with my, with my private clients, um, when I'm doing my futures and my Forex trading um, and my crypto trading, I'd like to use candlesticks. And then when I'm looking at the stock market, I like to use the actual black bars, but it's totally up to you what, what you use. The main thing I'm using the black bars for is because I, I, wanna, I wanna see the bar, yeah, but the, the most important thing to me is, is when I say, in, um, in, in my past few videos, I've actually talked about how that, um, that we need to keep listening to the markets, so or you need to keep listening to what the market is actually telling us. And what I mean by that is that it's not one day, okay? This is not what, what, what is the market telling us today? It's more about, okay, what is the flow of the market? And so this normally takes time, right? And it's more about what it, where is the flow of the market, not today, not like, oh, what does today mean? Um, it's more about what is the flow of the overall market in the, in, in, uh, what does that mean? And so looking at what we're seeing here right now, we can see that, we can see that the market is really consolidating around this 4,100 level. And the reason why this is actually pretty, um, it's it actually could be pretty bearish in the markets. The, the big sort of line in the sand is you can see it's actually right at that level of resistance. So the line in the sand for me this week is is what we need to watch out for and, and keep an eye on is the, the, the lows of the last two bars here, okay? The lows of the last two bars. So or the, these two sort of bars through here, those that low, if we start to break below that low through there, then we're probably gonna to start to see some movement on the downside. If I go and have a look at, as you can see, we're actually right at that level of resistance now, right there of that resistance. So if we go have a look at say the hourly chart, we can see that, we can see that that's, that, that's we can see that the market's actually made a bit of a double top through here, and that'll be the neckline. So if the market does start to break this neckline, we're probably gonna to start to see a movement you know, we're probably gonna to start to see a movement on the downside a lot more. So from this point through here, we can see that that point through there, and if we do start to break that these lows, we're probably gonna to start to make our way back down towards these lows through here, because the trend is still down, um, and nothing has changed through there. Um, so that, that'll be sort of what I'm looking at from there, from that perspective. So, um, and also we can see that Again, looking at this from from a from an analysis perspective, we can see that we've actually we're sort of sort of indecision right now because we made this sort of higher high here. Um, the big question is that if we are going to start to see some sort of change in trend, right now there's no change in trend. But if the market does start to pull back through here and suddenly it actually pauses and then we start to move up, that's the change in trend. Whenever I say in the markets we need to listen to the markets. It's more about listening to the flow, right? So if we have a lower high, a lower high, a double bottom, now a higher high for here, a higher high doesn't mean anything yet. The most important part to an upward trend is a higher low. So if we have the, the, the higher low, we need a higher low breaking past previous highs. So if the market is about to bottom out significantly and start to make a very nice move to the upside, 
then we want to see this high low come in and then break past here. If we do get that, then now, yes, we're starting to get that buying activity, right? So, but remember, it's the higher low. And as you can see, all through here, that we have, like, we, we see, you see it actually low. We had a lower high. Look at this here. We made a, what are we? We made a higher high, but we didn't make a higher low, right? So the market didn't change tune. We had a bit of a double bottom. Then it ran up very similar to what we have now. Double bottom. And then we made a, we're making a higher high. So right now the market hasn't changed. You can see the market came down, 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 went sideways, down, down, down. We didn't create the higher low. Now what happens if we did come down through here, right? We made this higher high. We came down and then we bought it out and we started doing this and then we started to pick back up and then we started to break that high. What does that mean? Oh, then the buyers would be coming in, right? So that's actually the big thing here that we want to be keeping an eye on for or what actually happens this week moving forward from, from here. Uh, a big key level through, through there. And so let's have a look at the NASDAQ as well too. The NASDAQ's doing the same sort of thing. The big thing that I'm really focusing on right now, especially even with the NASDAQ, is that we the overall trend is still down so trying to you know tr trying to trying to go against this market here right now you're trying to you're trying to capture you're trying to get a falling knife uh, try to capture a falling knife in in these markets here now that's that's not with all markets traders we we actually do have a lot of stocks in an upward trend as well too right um but just because the market's going down doesn't mean that's a bad thing right there's actually you know i actually like trading bear markets more than i do bull markets why because I make so much more money um, with with good trading setups uh, when it comes to trading the markets here, so, right? So we have we have the the market coming down through here. We are consolidating right at this level of resistance. So the the question is, what actually happens through here? Uh, because we are consolidating, and once again, if we do start to break below all these lows through here, and let me zoom in a bit more. So you can see this last one, two, three, four days. This last four days, we've actually had a lot of support around this level through here. Okay, so that that, that level of support through there. If we do start, if we do have another bit of a down day, um, say, you know, coming on to today, um, then that's probably gonna tell us we're gonna start to make that double top formation there. We're probably gonna start to make our way back down to there because now it's getting back below this level through here. And then that there, if you look at it, this is, this is the last level of resistance through here. Then it broke out through there. That'd be like some sort of short-term false breakout if we did get this bar breaking down. And then if that's the case, then we're probably gonna start to make our way back down to probably new lows for the year because it'll get down to 11,200. And then we're probably gonna start to see a move back down as well. Moving over now through to the, through to the Dow Jones. Now the Dow Jones has actually done something a bit different. It's actually broken back above its level of support. So you can see back here, we've actually got a lot of support back here. And you can see it's actually really, if we're looking at the level there, it's probably through, mm, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it there, right? So we can see that looking at the Dow Jones, we've got this level, these levels of su support back here and we had the support and then resistance, resistance. Well, look what's happening now. So this is where, w w this is where it's like, okay then, if we do get something like this again, let's say the market does that, right? What does that mean? Oh. That simply means what? Now we're starting to ch now we're starting to this whole level, this break back above this resistance level, because we know it's a major level, right? So if it's gonna hold here, we're gonna get something like this, and then we're gonna start to rally back up again. If we do get that, then the, then there's a tune changing in the market from there. We can never pick the bottom, but we can uh, we can always wait for the market to turn, right? You will have a much more successful trading career, not trying to pick tops and bottoms, but trying to get the 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 uh, the eighty percent right. So if the market's coming down, 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 where's the bottom? Oh, don't know. Where's the bottom? I don't know. Where's the bottom? I don't know. You, you still don't know, right? And the market does that, comes back up. Is is the bottom in? I don't know. Market comes back down, does that. Market. Oh, what happens here? Is the bottom in? I don't know. Oh, look, we're actually in an upward trend. We have a high, a low. Oh, okay, so we're in here. And then the market does something like that. Where's the top? I don't know. And then the market does something like this. And then I'll oh, look. You're, and you know, you capture, you don't capture this pit here, but you capture this pit from here to, you know, all the way through there. So that's what we, that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to capture that 80% and that's where, that's where your success is. Um, and so we can see that that, that level there around the 32,500 on the Dow Jones, that's where we're actually seeing that lot of support through there. So that's going to be really, really, um, 
interesting to see what actually happens to there. Let's go have a look at actual gold as well too. Now, gold on an overall level is actually, this actually could be quite weak for, for gold um, because you can see that it definitely did have a lot of, it definitely it poked, poked its head back above and now it's actually broken back down. We've got this level of sort of, that strong level of resistance through there. And now we're getting this sort of, this sort of action happening through here, right? And so looking at the, looking at gold right now, if we do start to break below this trend line, this is just nothing, this is gonna, this is gonna going to be just nothing but a pullback, right? So we have a down, little pullback, down, an overall pullback. If we start to get something like that, then guess what? We're probably gonna start to see a bit of a free fall in the gold market and looking at silver as well too. Silver's doing the same sort of thing, right? We're getting a very sort of weak. It's actually not looking too good for the for the metals um, because we've got to move down, and then we've got a strong. We've got this strong move down, and then now we're getting this sort of weak move up, right? We're not getting we're not getting any sort of strong move up. This is what we want to see. We want to see something like this. See how that's a very dominant buying leg. We want to see something like that. To say, okay, the buyers are now starting to come back in, and if we don't. If we don't get those those buying the the, the the strong buyers coming out of silver real quick, well then what's probably going to like it to happen is we're probably going to and let me just drop from there to there. We're probably going to break out of this channel that it's in right now, right? That this this channel and once we do start to break below twenty one twenty one dollars and fifty cents, then this is probably going to start to see a very strong move uh, on the downside. So um, that's going to be um, a very interesting point to see what actually goes on there with that. Moving over now through to through to the GDX and the, the GDX and, and these these types of markets are doing the exact same thing as gold as well too. Um, you can see here we had this complete, complete false breakout. It's something that I was talking about last week of I talked about fake out or breakout and this thing is complete fake out. And the big thing here, the reason why it was a fake out is because the overall trend is the trend is down. Okay. And what I mean by that is this. Let's actually talk about some some TA stuff here. If we have a strong, if we look at the buying leg, right? Remember I said at the start of the video that some, I'm looking at the bars, yes, but what I'm also looking at is where is the where is the overall flow, right? It's like, okay, if I look at this overall leg down, look how strong that is, a strong move down. But if I look at this overall leg from this buying leg from there to there, notice how we're actually, if we're looking at the angles, that's actually strong. If this is strong, if that's strong down, that's strong up. But what happens if we start to get something like this, where we get the strong move down, like a very steep, steep sort of falling off the cliff down, and then the market starts to do something like that. Notice how this angle, this angle period through here is what? It's a lot more weaker than it is than this, this say this point through here. If we got that, if we got this, that's what, that's called a V bottom, right? And at a potential, then a higher low, and then, then, a, then a potential change in trend. Because now we've got two strong moves. But when we get a strong move down and then a very weak move up, as you can see the angle of this move up, that's where it gets pretty dangerous because it's not, again, it's not about, we, yes, we do have a look at this sort of, okay, a, an entry bar, but we want to make sure, okay, is this a potential entry of this breakout? Is it potentially going to be a false breakout? And most, by the way, guys, most breakouts are actually false breakouts. Um, and if you want to learn how, uh, again, um, in, that, in that free trading course, guys, I talk about, um, you actually get access to my trading system that I trade. And, um, and you'll see how what I, what I use to give me a probability of it actually not being a false breakout. So go, get, go check out that. So we can see that's, that's what's happening now on the GDX. Uh, GDXJ, same sort of thing as well too. We're actually looking at this sort of level through here. Um, and then again, just 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 a complete reversal, and now we're looking at uh, this where it is right now. So again, we want to make sure that when looking at the, uh, the the mining sector, if we do start to break back down, this is actually very. It's it's actually it's, it's a very um, it's a very weak leg, okay. And so you can see here once again, just just looking at the angles, um, you can see we've got this move here. So we've got this sort of move down from here sideways down and now we're getting this sort of move up from here as you can see we had a strong move down this is more like this is more like a v top right because we had an overall sort of move up from there to there and a strong move down and now look what's happening we're getting this strong sort of weak move up so we could be getting ready for for another for another leg down 
um, in the mining sector through there. Looking at the SILJ, and again, the same sort of thing as well too. All right, it's, it's all the same sort of thing with it within the mining sector. Same thing that I said about there. And the SIL, again, same sort of thing as well too. We need to watch those levels through there. Once we do start to break below these levels, then we're, we're, then we're probably on a free fall, especially on this SIL. The SIL uh, it definitely, definitely had a lot of sort of uh, support around, you can, as you can see this last sort of week, a lot of resistance around here. So if the market does do that, guess what? It's actually breaking below past a lot of resistance, but then also breaking past a strong level of support all through here as well too. So um, so that's what I'm looking at through there. Let's go have a look at the good old um, crypto markets here. And we can see, doo -doo -doo -doo. all right, so the big thing here about the crypto markets and something that actually happened last week as well too, and I. And I, I did a video on this uh, as well too, if I go back to my daily charts. Okay, so the same sort of thing as the mining sector that happened here, we can see that when, when this day happened, I did a YouTube video saying that don't be fooled, don't get sucked in, because the trend is down, and it's probably, it's probably gonna be some sort of a false move. And a false move mean it's probably probably gonna completely retrace that, and then it's, and it's, it's probably gonna be a false move. The reason why is if you have a look at the overall move, once again, look at this here, strong move down and we're just going sideways. We could be getting ready for this here. And if we do get something like that traders, guess what? Now we're getting ready for something like this to happen, okay? So we need to be just alert about what's happening with the good old um, Bitcoin uh, when, it, when it goes through there. So what I wanna do right now traders is I wanna share something with you that um, I believe is going to help you. See a lot of traders out there, which uh, one of the biggest myths out there is that we, one of the biggest myths out there is that we believe that we need to be trading all the time to make good money from the markets. And if you look at the really successful people in the markets, and again, if you just want, you know, model success, right? So if you look at the successful people, what do they do? Like really, really, really successful people, really successful traders that make like millions of dollars a year, what do they do? They're more like a sniper approach, right? They just wait for really good opportunities. But people think, oh, well, I've only got a small trading account. I've only got a $5,000 or $10,000 trading account, you know, or a $20,000 trading account. I've only got a small account, so I need to make, I need to have a lot of trades. And some of my private clients are like this as well too. And so one thing I want to share with you is this, is that you're only, you really only 10, 10 trades away, 10 good trades away for you to doing really, really, really well in the markets. And let me explain what I mean here. So... The big big thing that I've been seeing across the markets right now, and even some of some of my traders, is that they want to trade a lot. And here's the thing: if you want to trade a lot, you're going to have a lot of losses, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, and you're probably going to blow yourself up. All right. So, and you and you you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. If you want to get in and get out every single day in these markets, then you're probably over trading. And I want to sort of neutralize your journey here and say, okay, you're only 10 doubles away. Okay, so let's just say, for example, you started with you started with $1,000. And you say, okay, then I'm looking for a potential trade. And now if you use, if you use um, leverage or if you're using margin or if you're using, say, options or, or Forex or these, these features on top of that, then we don't need a big move, right? Especially like with options. We don't, if we're just buying options, we don't need a big move, right, to do the 100%. Now, I'm not saying if you got a $1,000 trading account, you wouldn't just put the whole $1,000 onto one trade, right? What I'm talking about here is just a general, it's, it's, this is the general sort of overview of why it's not about, it's tr making good money from the markets is never about have, having a lot of trades. All right, it's more about what are the type of trades that's likely to give us that potential again a double. And again, using if you use the say the because we looked at the stock market just then, if you use the stock market and you're using options, you know you don't need a really big move to make a hundred percent return. Right, these options can do four, five, six hundred percent return and more. So when looking at the um, when looking at the, uh, the, the the markets, it's like, okay, if we can find trades that can potentially do 100% return, okay? So we have a 1,000 into 2,000, okay? This is just a, I know this is a black and white statement, but bear, bear with me, okay? Why you don't need 100 good trades a year to make good money, 
right? We're just looking for what? We're looking for potential doubles, trades that do potential doubles. Um, now, I know there's losses in there and so on and so forth, okay? But just, just bear with me, okay? So 1,000 into two, the next double is two into four, four into eight, eight into 16, 16 into 32, 32 into 64, 64 and 120 starting with a thousand dollars now i'm not saying if you if you had a thousand dollars in your trading account you wouldn't just put that whole lot onto one trade right you need to be much smarter about that you know it's like if you had a five thousand dollar trading account you might do you know maybe a few hundred dollars if you had a ten thousand dollar trading account yeah you might go through that right but you're only literally starting from a thousand dollar position of just seven really good really good high quality trades for you to doing six figures and then and then next double is two two sixty four, so you and then and then five twelve and then over a million. You are literally only ten trades away. Ten really good trades away. Now again, guys, the trading system I use gives me a potential of actually doing doing that double, right? Especially when I get those those really good quality setups. Um, um, and so what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at here is that why you actually wanting to. The, the the amateur traders and the and the non professionals, what do they do? Right, they're in and out of these markets a lot. They're trading and trading and trading. Oh, the market's gone up. Let me get in there. Or let me try this. Or let me try that. Or let me try this. And they're very 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 active in the markets, and that's always been a big problem, right? Because I talk to a lot of, I talk to some of my private clients, and when I talk to them, one of the big things is that they they do they. They use their, they take their job mentality, right? I'm working every day and I'm making money every day or I'm making money every week, right? I'll get that weekly paycheck or whatever. And they take that mentality into the market where they, they've got to be doing stuff every day. They've got to be trading every day. And yeah, I, you know, I need to make money every week. That, that's, this is the big thing that stops traders, right? Because they take that job mentality and they take the the working mentality and they go to the markets and therefore what? They start to get, oh, I need, I, I'm just sitting here not doing anything. I'm not making money. I need to be trading. And so what do they do? They start to trade, but guess what happens? They lose money. Because because they're trying to what? They're trying to make money, right? Now, obviously we're trading to make money, but if you can understand that a lot, they're trading to make money, but are they trying? Most of the time, are they trading some? Are, are they trading because it's a really good quality setup, or are they just trading anything just to try to make some money, right? Probably the latter. They're trying to trade anything just to make some money. So, as you can see from from here, that if we could, even if it took you two years, three years of just sitting back and waiting for good potential trades, and this is where like this is where like you know again go go into my free trading course. I'll share with you a good a good trading setup. This is where if you can just spend some time doing some you know doing some analysis uh, or investing in some courses or getting some coaching or whatever for you to actually to be able to say you know what um you know yes i'm only, I'm only literally 10 doubles away from doing from doing a doing a million dollars and even if it takes me five years to find really five you know even if it took me five years and i took 20 really good trades and some of them weren't a hundred percent some of them are 50 percent, some of them even 20 or 30 percent losses you know, if we, let's just talk options here for a minute, okay? You know what I mean? So maybe some of them, and then maybe maybe out of the, out of those twenty trades over the next five years, you had two or three of them run on for a five hundred percent return. You know, um, I've you know in the last twelve months, I've had a couple of trades that that's done over a thousand percent return. It just blew me away. But guess what? This is where if we can if we can just uh, step one, try not to have that mentality that I need to be trading a lot because that trading a lot mentality is now stopping you from actually getting ahead in the market. Because I'm sure, and I've been there so many times, where at the end of the month, I've been trading a lot and I just said, I just wish I didn't even trade this month. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? And and you know, and then suddenly, <laughs> where did all the money go, right? And gone, right? It's like, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's gone. Um, and that's what that, that's what happens to most traders. And what's kept me in the game for so long has been understanding this one thing. And the more patient I can be with the markets, right? Because because we watch the markets all the time, we see these things happening, we get these emotions, right? Because we want to make money, and we're watching these things take off. We watch these things crash. We're watching these these markets move. 
But if there's not a good quality setup that you believe in, right, your edge, then guess what? Now you're going to start to pick and you know, you're going to start to get the FOMO and you know and get into the markets at the wrong time. You're probably going to get in at the end of the move before it pulls back, and you're going to and you're going to you're probably going to lose some money. So this is where traders like step one. You either got two choices here: one, find someone. If it's me, get get you know get part of my coaching program, and I'll teach you. I'll, I'll help you. I'll coach you. I'll teach you, and I'll show you the systems, and I'll show you the things that's going to give you the potentials of doing ten doubles. No, there's not a lot of those that come that come. Or I should say, no, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of trades, man. There's not trades every single day. I don't trade every single day. I do market updates for you guys and all that sort of stuff, but I don't trade every day. I'm actually um. I'm actually just waiting for those really good quality setups that's going to give me the potential of doing what? A double. Um, because I know that I'm not that far away from actually making that million dollars. Makes sense? And that's where you guys are as well too. Because if you're trading, the, say for example, you're trading the stock market and you have two months of no trades. Oh, John, this this sucks. I thought, I thought that, you know, uh, I was, I was, I'm here to make money. I'm not here just to sit around and watch the markets. And so this is where the biggest problem, because like right now I have a coach and my coach, he makes millions and millions and millions of dollars a year, right? And how does he do it? He does it because he does it by only trading. He's more like a sniper approach, right? Waiting for those, waiting for those really specific times in the markets. So the market's going up, market's going down, market, market's creating these all these patterns. And all you're doing is you're waiting for a good quality setup. And again, guys, this is where one, if you don't know what a good quality setup is, that's what we, that's what you need to, if you're not, if you're not willing to invest money into a program like mine or someone else that, that you really like and go deep with them, then you need to put in the, you need to put in the work. I spoke to someone recently and, um, and he was the exact same boat. He didn't want to invest into any program. He just wanted to get you free YouTube videos. So your step number one is then what is your edge in the market? What's gonna what's gonna give you that really good strong potential edge of doing a double? If you don't know, that's where you need to work, right? That's 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 the gap. That's the gap. Okay, what am I looking for? So you can either spend the next probably couple of years, um, you know, uh, going out there and looking all the patterns and start to develop systems and processes that potentially do that, and then you can crush it, or you can shortcut, you know, decades into days, and that's what I did with my coach. That's really helped me, um, and and get, and get get part of something. If it's my if it's mine, you know, get part of my coaching program. I'll, I'll definitely help you out there. If it's someone else, but definitely find something, but then go deep with that. Okay, don't find something and then say try it and then say this doesn't work and then move on. No, go deep with that and 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 go from there. And I promise you, traders. Like let's just say for example, you, you, you let's say for example you took thirty trades, right? Thirty trades. From now through the end of 2025, but by the end of that 30 trades, so let's say there were some losses in there, and there was some, and there wasn't quite doubles. There was maybe a 50% in there. There's maybe some 20 or 30% in there as well too. But by 2025, guess what? By 2025, you've only taken 30 trades. 30 trades in how many days? Let's bring up the good old calculator here, because because <laughs> and I'm trying to I'm trying to share with you guys how you're not that far away, even over the next few years, even when the market's crashing. Guess what? Buy put options. Good look for really good quality shorting opportunities. Right? You know, 365 days times. Where are we right now? 2020. Three, four, five. So that's actually that's actually what. Uh, 365 times three, that's over a thousand days, and then you probably got another another half there, right? That's that's over a thousand days. Over a thousand days. For over the next thousand days, you're only going to take 30 trades. Let's just say you only took 30 trades, and some of them are small losses, and other them are really other times they'll they'll you know, and and just say out of out of those 30 percent, you had one out of every 10 take off like a rocket and did four or five hundred percent return. You see what I'm saying there, traders? You actually and by, by you being really, 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 really active in the markets all the time, guess what? That actually slows you down from actually making money. It's it's really it's a really thing that it's a it's a thing that I've had to learn so much in these markets. But then when I started to really understand that I don't need a lot of good trades to make a lot of money. I just need to wait for those really good high quality trades. And if you can do that, and if we can because uh, we've got the system right, and this is where like 95% of your success comes from the mindset. If people say, oh, bullshit, John, it's like, it's like, 
if if you're new to the markets, you'd say bullshit. If you're not new to the markets, you wouldn't say bullshit, right? Because you got the system. I can I like again get you know go to my go to that johnsfreegift.com. I, I'm actually teaching my system for free. I, that's actually a really good starting point. Take that take that system that I use and run with it. Start to develop your own rules around that if you want to. Or if you really want the help, just do I join my coaching program or something? Like that. Email me and and, we, and I can I can help you out from there. Or there or there might be a link to um, something around here. But the thing is um is that you know you're actually not that far away from doing it. And if we can just sort of stop ourselves and again go, going back to, to to the whole mindset thing, right? So we have the trading system, but you have the system is one. But how are you? You have a if you have a good trading system, but you're a shit trader. What is a shit trader? You're not consistent at the markets, right? There is a there is a thing that I did just recently, and let me just share this with you here. And where are we? All right here, all right? So there's there's a thing that I did recently for here. When you do, you do, and when you don't, you don't. When you do follow your system rules consistently, here's the big key, guys. And you you know what I'm talking about here, right? So you're not. And this is where having a coach, this is where like my inner circle program is is like 10% teaching you the techniques because I just teach you the system and it's the same thing every single day. And then 90% of my time, I'm trying to get you to focus on just staying consistent. When you do follow it consistently, every day you follow what? Consistently the one setup. One setup that's gonna give you what? Potentially, back over here, 10 doubles, right? You see that? So it's gonna give you the potential of doing 10 doubles. When you consistently, that's always the hard part, isn't it? Because consistently means if you have if you have a whole month with no trades, well, guess what? You don't trade. Simple as that. Because guess what? Guess what's going to happen when you t when you take a trade based off what you think, hope, or fear? Guess what happens? You end up getting knocked over the head. You end up going backwards, and you're like, "Oh man, I should have been there. <laughs> I have had the t-shirt. I got the t-shirt for that, right?" And then you do the whole thing. Oh man, I wish I didn't trade. Or this system sucks. Or this doesn't work. Or the market's rigged. Or the market's changed. And all these other all these other excuses of why you haven't done well. Apart from the one thing that, that, that it's one thing is you. You haven't consistently followed one plan that you know that's gonna potentially give you a double. Now again, you, you're gonna have some losses in there, right? Not every system is foolproof. You, you know, you're gonna make some mistakes, you know, um, and then you're gonna have some really good wins, right? When you consistently follow, you do well. When you don't follow your system consistently, you don't do well. When you do, you do. When you don't, you don't. So that's what I wanted to share with you right now, traders. Please, uh, a bit of a bit of a a, 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 a a bit of a motivational sort of thing to get you going for the week. But I really want you to understand here, guys, that you're not that far away. Okay, you're really not that far away. Um, all we need to do is just quieten that monkey brain, right? Quite, and especially when we're when we're watching so much stuff out there. Um, we need to understand that, okay, let's bring this back to basics, okay? What am I looking for? Even over the next six months, 12 months, two years, right? This is how you really can go from having a small trading account to a million dollar trading account in a matter of a few years. Now, how is that possible? Well, you really need, if, you, if you're willing to spend the next three to six months, three to six months, working your absolute ass off, and what I mean by working your ass off is that working really hard to, do, to find one thing. If it's, if it's find one thing, if you're not willing to invest in, in any program or anything out there, then you need to spend that, spend that time there, right? And if it is, come join my coaching program. I'll, I'll sort you out. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to go over it again and again and again and again and again to develop your confidence, right? Because you buying a system or become part of a program such as mine, guess what? You, you, you're getting it, but you're not confident yet, right? Because you haven't seen it enough. But once you see the same thing happen 1,000 times, and now you've got a, a, you know, you've got a, you've got a massive portfolio of screenshots of all these different types of trades that have happened in the past that meet those exact same rules, guess what happens? Now your confidence goes up. And when that goes up, that's when you start to say, wow, if I, could, if I just wait for these setups, then that's when I know I'm going to do really well for the markets. Make sense? So this is where I really want you to guys, you guys can crush it so much um, in these markets. So please stay sort of patient, stay calm. And if you don't have that edge, if you're just trading based off a whim, like if you're just trading, trading based off a YouTube video, or if you're just trading based off a tip, 
that's not long-term edge, right? Let's actually put the edge back on your side and let's actually sort of slow down because if we can slow down and really be methodical about our steps, you'll notice that you have less stress, more freedom, and then you actually get to your goal a lot quicker by actually sort of slowing down.